Hey guys, it's Jeremy. We're gonna do the walkthrough on your trailer. Uh, we'll send you the link. That way you'll be able to reference back to this anytime you want. All right, you have your cable or satellite input here at the rear of the trailer. That's where the cable or satellite's going to input. City water connection. That's where you're gonna hook the water hose up and it's a pressurized water into the tech trailer. Black tank flush. When it's time to empty your black tank, you're gonna pull the lever. You're gonna dump your black tank, leave it open hook a water hose up here, it's gonna rinse out that tank. And let it run for a couple of minutes uh, or until you see fit. Turn off the water, disconnect the hose, close your black tank, and then you can drop your gray. That'll rinse out your hose. Your trailer does come with rear camera prep if you decide to add one later. It is already pre-wired for it. That'll save you money in installation. Spare tire on the bumper. You have power stabilizer jacks on your trailer. Now, they are stabilizer jacks, not leveling jacks. So the rule on this is, when they hit the ground and you hear the motor change tone, you're gonna stop, because it's just to keep you from rocking back and forth, okay? Oh, we went the wrong way. You have your power awning, LED light strip. We'll go inside after we finish the outside. If you need to take water with you, this is your take with water. This is your fresh water tank. Make sure you turn your water pump on your control panel. And that'll pull the water from that tank anytime you open a faucet or flush a toilet. You have outside 110 power, cable output, and there's a TV backer in here. So you can put a TV mount in this wall and hang a TV up out here whenever you're camping. At your furnace exhaust, you do have screens for that. They're in your accessories in the pass through. Uh, make sure you get those on there. It'll keep the mud daubers out. They ruin your furnace. You'll have to replace it. It's not a good time. Uh, your external speakers are connected to your inside stereo system, so you can run the sound inside, outside, or both. There's your water heater. It is electric as well as propane. The propane is direct spark ignition, so you never have to light a pilot light. It'll take care of it for you. There's your anode rod that will have to be replaced every one to two years. And this is the pressure relief for the tank whenever you go to do anything like remove this rod, relieve the pressure off the tank first. Uh, front stabilizer jack, same as the rear. Uh, one switch is going to operate the front, the other will operate the back, same story. When they hit the ground, you hear it change tone, stop, because you don't want to put too much pressure on them, just stabilizers. If you ever get into the solar charging, here's your solar port. Make sure you get a Furion plug for it. Uh, the solar panels just keep your 12 volt battery topped off. You don't really need it unless you plan on doing a boondocking or dry camping. Here's your pass through storage. Here are the accessories we talked about. We got them in here for you. Make sure you always lock the lock on this door, it makes sure that there's even seal on it. it keeps the water out. Up front, you got your power tongue jack. It does have a light in case you're hooking up or unhooking at night. Give you a little extra up and down, up and down. That's it, as simple as that. You have your propane tanks here. You have two 20 pound propane tanks. You have a 30 pound cover in case you decide to upgrade. I recommend sticking with the 20s because you can swap those out anywhere. It's easy to change out. Uh, battery is located right behind your propane and you have a battery quick disconnect right up there in the corner. Whenever you're not using it, turn that, pull it out, and it disconnects your battery from your trailer. There's the other side of your pass through. Uh, that pretty much does it except for your dump station. Let's head back here. Here's your power plug in and your dump station. You'll notice the handles are color coded. Gray is the sinks and showers. The black is the toilet. So you're gonna dump this one first. When it's finished, go through that rinse operation, close it, then you're gonna open the gray and it's gonna rinse your hose out because that's just sink and shower water coming out of the gray. Let's go ahead and slide inside. All right, so get your stairs down you're just going to pull the handle to the side and you're going to bring your stairs down and the legs are adjustable 
you'll just pop these pins out, adjust the legs, put the pins back through. All right, fire extinguishers always close to the door. You can, hopefully you will never have to use it, but there it is right there. We have a nice big storage closet. You have a push button light in there. Lots of good storage. All right, bathroom, you got a ton of storage in here. Storage, storage, storage. The important thing in here, right over here is your main G GCFI, GFCI switch. If any of your 110 plugs don't work, come check this one first. Make sure that breaker isn't, doesn't need to be reset. If it still doesn't work, go to your fuse box. If that doesn't work, call us. We'll be there to help you out. Um, everything else is pretty easy peasy in here. You guys know how to use a shower. You got your exhaust fan up here. Switches in the corner. And your light switches right here. Uh, dining area. When you're not using your table, you can disengage it. And it has its own storage area. down there. More storage under your couch. Of course it comes with the complimentary totes, help keep you organized. Couch jack jackknifes into a bed for more sleeping. So just like a futon, you got your smoke detector up here, runs off 9 volt battery just like at home. So if it starts chirping at you, time to put a new battery in. Uh, you have oversized 15k air conditioner. It is ducted. Uh, this thing will keep you guys nice and cool. Your vents are adjustable. You can spin them to make them face different directions. Uh, TV backer right here. You can put up to a 55 inch TV here. Here's all your controls. First one is battery. If you need a true reading on your battery, make sure you are not plugged into shore power. As long as you are, it's going to show full like that. Fresh water tank, black water gray water and then that would be for a secondary galley if it had a galley here's your water pump if you're using that fresh water tank to engage your water heater turn that on here it'll take care of the rest for you first light switch is your awning LED light strip second one is your interior lighting slide out control here awning control here here's your sound bar it's got HDMI USB Radio, auxiliary, Bluetooth, all that cool stuff. Fireplace, electric fireplace. It does spit out some heat. You let, let that thing run for a while, it will start to switch you out of here. Here are your controls up top here, and they're... They used to come with a remote control as well. I'm not sure if they still do. They talked about discontinuing them. Uh, microwave. Easy peasy, you guys know how this one goes. You do have an exhaust fan on your vent hood. It does vent to the outside. Stove. Turn it to high, turn your striker. Boom. Turn it to high, turn your striker. Do it one more time over here. Boom. All three of those, good to go. And then of course you can adjust your flame from there. On your oven, it does come with a striker also. So, We'll turn to the flame and we're going to hold it down. I'd say count to maybe 10. And then you're going to hit your striker. There we go. Hold it down a little bit longer. That's lighting the pilot light there. There it goes. Now it's from there. You can adjust your temperature and the fire will kick on. And this switch is just your accent lights and your Hi. interior oven light. Thermostat's going to control your air conditioner and your furnace, so also just like at home. Down here, you have your CO2 and propane 2-in-1 detector. Uh, if this thing starts going off, they say exit the camper, turn off your propane, uh, give us a call. It's going to sound a little something like this. Now, 
If it's actually going off, it'll be a continuous beep with no break in between. Um, it is sensitive to aerosols and cleaning products. So if you're in here spraying the Lysol or the Fabuloso and it goes off, it's probably what it is. Any other time, be safe, get out, make sure you know everything's good, turn off your propane. Uh, it is hardwired to your front battery, so if that battery gets low, this will start to chirp like your smoke detector does. Next to it, you have your fuse box with your breakers and your fuses. Everything is labeled, uh, so no worries there. We got our 12 volt refrigerator and freezer here. You get about twice as much storage as we did in those old propane fridges, so that will run off either the 12 volt front battery or shore power. Now, just like any RV fridge, it's going to take about 24 hours to get down to temperature, and you have to be plugged in for that. After it's down to temp, you can unplug, and that 12-volt battery will keep it operating at temperature. In transit, the truck keeps that battery charged. That battery keeps your fridge going. When you get to the campsite, you plug in, and that'll take over. All right, bedroom, you do have access to your pass-through storage. They give you some nice little cubbies down here to store some of your stuff. Keep you nice and organized. You got your hanging closets on each side of the bed. They do have one 10 power in each one, as well as an opening here. So you can put cell phone, CPAP, alarm clock, whatever, and you have power in there. Uh, you also have your storage up above the bed. We saw the underbed storage. And on each side you have the USB charging ports as well. Let's see, your TV backer for your bedroom is right here. If you decide to add a TV, this is where you're gonna do it. And you got your cable and power right there for that. Let's see, I think we've covered everything. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, just give us a call. You'll have my number, you have the store number. We're always there to help you. So congratulations on the new trailer, guys. Thank you.